Next up, CBS 19 News at 10. Barrow continues to churn through East Texas. The latest on how strong it is and where it's going in your forecast. First responders stepping up to help total strangers ahead of the storm. We'll introduce you to some of them. And it's been six months since the hotel explosion in North Texas. Next, the latest on the investigation. Live from Tyler, CBS 19 News at 10 starts right now. Off the top tonight, deadly devastation in Texas. We're tracking the aftermath of barrel, which we all will be feeling for days, if not weeks to come. Now at noon, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is in Utah. How long that meeting took place with our governor. Uh, it's been in the works, surprised some. We'll tell you what he had to say coming up. Plus, also appearing at the National Governor's Meeting today, Matthew Mac uh, actor Matthew McConaughey. Kara Bracken reports on what he's doing here. And how a Utah forensics company helped uncover a Utah man's past as a victim in the Tulsa race massacre. KSL News at noon starts now. We've got a lot to get to. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dan Spindle here at KSL. Today, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is here in Salt Lake City. KSL Live at 5 starts now. Good evening. We continue to track breaking news out of Layton, where a grass fire closed the Layton Parkway on ramp to southbound I-15. This is breaking news from KSL. Good evening. Breaking news of a deadly crash in Salt Lake County. This is a live look at the scene up Little Cottonwood Canyon. Police aren't releasing any details tonight, but they did confirm at least one person was killed. I'll give you your weekend forecast coming up here in my first alert weather forecast. And that heat wave could have some hidden effects if you're taking certain types of medication. We'll explain coming up. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. Happy Friday, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Austin Reed. And I'm Alyssa Warner. We begin tonight in Richland, where city crews are just shutting down part of George Washington Way. Live, local, late breaking. This is 44 News. We begin tonight with a Storm Team 44 weather alert. First tonight, an active evening of storms has left communities across the tri-state picking up the pieces. Many are going to bed without power tonight as crews work to restore power lines. We have team coverage tonight in some of the hardest hit areas. But first, we'll send it over to Storm Team 44 meteorologist Jonathan Weaver, who is tracking your forecast this evening. Jonathan. Thank goodness it has calmed down. The severe weather is gone. No more watches, no more warnings. Just. This is CBS News Chicago. Weather alert, heavy downpours moving in now could impact the morning commute. All a part of what was Hurricane Barrel. I'll show you when the moisture moves out. Inches of rain dumped on the southern suburbs and northwest Indiana. Flash flooding catching some drivers off guard. If you see the water flashing higher than the car when you go through it, don't go through <laughs> The body of a missing pastor found in his car in the Desplaines River. The breaking news update from investigators tonight. In the race for the White House, President Biden and seeks support from his fellow Democrats as former President Trump speaks out about the controversy over who should be his opponent. A mess south of the city tonight, and it's not over yet. Live from Vermont's own WCAX, the Channel 3 News at Noon starts now. Thanks for joining us at noon. I'm John McMahon. Vermont Governor Phil Scott and other state leaders addressing the public again this morning on state recovery efforts in the days following this week's flooding. Governor Scott saying the state is continuing with its damage response and will provide assistance when necessary, coordinating with local officials. This week marked 100 days since Dr. Marie Fagans took over as MSCS superintendent. The details into the celebratory party with the transition team. And if you're hitting the road this summer, you may try through some tolls. Later, see how to pay the right way and avoid falling for scams. Taking action for you. Action News 5 starts now. The time now is 4.30 on this Thursday morning. You're getting a live look at the M Bridge sitting right there to kick off your morning. We have everything you need to know before you head out the door, including a look at that first alert forecast. Patrick, what you got for us today? A little toastier. Okay. But it's now been a year since a Birmingham firefighter was shot and killed on the job and another hurt. 
but there's still no answers in the case. We'll have the latest from police on the investigation now at 11. And Russell, we have declared first alert weather days beginning this weekend all the way through Monday for some dangerous heat in the forecast. We'll let you know how hot it could feel coming up. It's making your roads safer. The millions of dollars that are being spent to improve Alabama roads and bridges and who's paying for it. Live and on your side, you're watching WBRC Fox 6 News now at 11 a.m. Hello and welcome. I am Russell Jones in for Claire Huddleston and this is now at 11. Well, we begin with breaking news from Tuscaloosa County where a woman was sadly killed in a dog attack. It happened on Highway 69 North. That's close to the Barry community. On air and streaming live, CBS News Detroit at noon starts now. Good afternoon and thanks so much for joining us here on CBS News Detroit. I'm Meredith Bruckner here with next weather meteorologist Kylie Miller. Kylie, we're going to see a big warm up over the next few days. A huge warm up. Temperatures are going to be back into the 90s for the weekend. This budget is a major victory for the people we were all elected to serve, the good people of Pennsylvania. This morning on Fox 43, 11 days after the deadline, Pennsylvania has a state budget. We break down one of the cornerstones of uh, governor's top priorities, and that is more funding for education. Plus, more than a dozen people went to the hospital after this orange cloud was seen over a business in Franklin County, where it came from as the investigation continues. And a local church gets an anonymous gift that turns out to be worth more than the usual average for a donations basket. How it helps the church that's been facing hard times. Fox 43 Morning News at 5 starts right now. Good morning. It is 5 o'clock on your Friday. Thanks for starting your day with us here on Fox 43 Morning News. I'm Alex Colley. And I'm Andrea Michaels. I mean... Here's what you need to know to start your morning. We know one of the victims in the North Liberty shooting died from his injuries. What else police are telling us so far about this tragic incident? Plus, President Joe Biden fielded questions from reporters in a solo news conference for the first time in eight months. What he had to say, and it didn't do the job in reassuring voters. And it's our own little Jurassic Park right here in South Bend. The Indiana Dinosaur Museum museum is opening its doors in just a few hours. Why it's more than just dinosaurs. And first alert weather, we're watching a ring of fire set up. We'll explain what this means and what this means going into our weekend forecast. 16 Morning News Now starts right now. From WNDU-TV, this is 16 Morning News Now. Oh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to 16 Morning News Now on a Friday. This is KDKA TV News at Noon. A live look outside at the start of a sunny Friday afternoon in Pittsburgh. Grab your sunglasses and the sunscreen on your way out the door. Thanks so much for spending part of your day with us. I'm Erica Moke. Not only is the sun back, but the heat is back as well. Okay. Each time it's very unnerving. Fast cars, big crowds. I've never seen anything that fast and it seemed extremely dangerous. Spectators just feet away. Illegal sign shows in the big cities and the suburbs. Oh, it was crazy. There were around 200 people around. People are scared. And sometimes it, you feel like something is about to hit your home. Leaving police and city leaders desperate to stop them. This is CBS News Bay Area with Elizabeth Cook. We've seen the stunts on our streets and even our own freeways, and police have tried all kinds of things to try to stop them. This is an NBC News special report. Here's Jose Diaz Balart. Good evening. We are coming on the air with breaking news. There has been an incident at Donald Trump's Pennsylvania rally. It appears shots have apparently been fired and Donald Trump has been injured. 
We are following some breaking news right now where Donald Trump has just been escorted off the stage by Secret Service agents during a rally in Bolt Butler, Pennsylvania. 7 News at 6.30 starts now. Following breaking news here at 6.30, a live look at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Former President Donald Trump rushed off the stage there during his rally after he had been speaking for several minutes. Uh, the former president seen ducking for Take cover after result. several loud pops were heard there this afternoon. He is with Secret Service right now. This is 7 News at 10. An apparent assassination attempt at former President Donald Trump at a Pennsylvania rally. The Secret Service confirms he is okay. Hello, I'm Craig Stevens. I'm Robin Simmons. The shooter and a member of the audience are dead. Here's a look at what happened just after 6 p.m. tonight. Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news starts now with breaking news. Look at what happened. Well, you just heard them, those terrifying moments as shots ring out during former President Donald Trump's campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. This now being investigated as an attempted assassination. Well, tonight, President Trump confirms he was shot in the ear and is okay. You can see blood on the side of his face as Secret Service rushed him off stage. You can see in this moment, they're laying on top of him, protecting him, and then... Not long after, they didn't bring him up. You hear agents even say, shoot her down, and they whisk him off stage down those steps. Also, just moments ago, the Secret Service releasing a statement saying that the suspected shooter fired shots outside of the rally venue and was shot and killed by agents. What happened? Oh. I can tell you that uh, preliminarily it appears everything unfolded very quickly. Donald Trump rushed off the stage at a Pennsylvania rally after being shot by someone in the crowd. Good evening, I'm Rich Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10. Former President Donald Trump's presidential campaign confirms he will be attending the GOP convention in Milwaukee next week. Today he survived what's being investigated as an assassination attempt at a rally in Pennsylvania. This is CBS 8 News Live at 11. Take a little bit of We begin with breaking news tonight out of Butler, Pennsylvania. Former President Donald Trump had to be rushed off stage after what officials are calling an assassination attempt. Law enforcement officials say the person who opened fire today was 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks. He's from Pennsylvania, and they are confirming he is dead right now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Kirsten Holmes. The Secret Service says former President Trump is safe. In a social media post, the former president said he was hit by a bullet in the top part of his right ear. At this hour, officials say a person attending that rally was also killed. Two other people remain in critical condition tonight. Now, Channel 11 News coverage you can count on. Take a look at what happened. Oh. An absolutely chaotic scene in Butler County. Former President Donald Trump rushed off the stage after an apparent assassination attempt. Good morning to you. It's 5 a.m. on this Sunday, July 14th. I'm Jatera McGee. And I'm Jennifer Tomas again this morning. So the president, former president, is said to be doing okay. Yeah. We have been on top of this since this breaking news happened yesterday evening. There have been a lot of significant developments since then. Absolutely. So overnight, the FBI identified the shooter, 20-year-old Thomas Crooks. He's from Bethel Park. Now, we were there overnight as police had his home surrounded along Milford Drive. Crooks was shot and killed by Secret Service at that rally. Also overnight, the FBI confirmed the shooting is being investigated as a possible assassination attempt. Three spectators were also shot at the rally at the Butler Farm Show. One man was killed. The FBI says they have been able to identify him, but they are not prepared to release that information yet. The other two victims we have learned are in critical condition. They are at AGH. 
We continue to follow this breaking news at 8 o'clock right here on CBS News Philadelphia. Good morning, everyone. Former President Donald Trump is recovering today after an assassination attempt at a ra rally near Pittsburgh. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jan Carabello. And I'm Howard Monroe. A person in the crowd was killed as bullets flew. The Secret Service says they killed the suspected shooter, a 20-year-old from the Pittsburgh area. You're looking live now at new video just into our newsroom from Bethel Park, which is about an hour away from the shooting scene. The suspect has been identified as Thomas Matthew Crooks overnight. Police raided his home trying to determine a motive for that shooting.